here by the Suns over the last four minutes. Kobe Bryant has hardly touched the ball during that stretch after the hot shooting. Shot clock to five. Brown wanted to pop. On Fisher. Good job here by Fry. Fry got a piece of it. Fisher could not shoot over Fry. Go to the line to shoot two. You know, Marvin, it's interesting. The Phoenix Sun screen roll and what it does to your defense. If you're going to take the guy who's rolling, you're going to give up threes. And then when you gather out to get to the three-point line, you give up the guy rolling. And that's exactly what's happened in this game. And the Suns are either finding the three-point shooter or the guy rolling down the lane. It's been Amundsen or it's been Amari Stoudemire. Foul on Odom. That's his third. Amundsen has had his ups and downs at the line as we check out the upcoming national TV schedule tomorrow on ESPN. Eastern Conference final game number five. Boston playing at Orlando. The Magic remaining alive with the win last night. And they will be on hand in L.A. on Thursday right here on TNT for game five between the Suns and the Lakers. And the Suns have opened up a ten-point lead. They've matched their biggest lead of the night. Now to five minutes left in the fourth. Odom looked like he lost the handle. Odom pulls it away from Fly, and a foul is called. Now, the other day in the game, Marvin, game three, Pau Gasol got one shot in the fourth quarter. He's not getting any shots right now, and neither is Kobe Bryant. The Phoenix Suns are doing a great job, and they're forcing either Fisher or Odom to be the guys looking to take the shot. So it's going to be interesting to see if Kobe Bryant and Pau Gasol in this last uh, under five minutes can get involved offensively and get some scores. Foul called on... Robinson, that's the first team foul on the Suns. Odom is two of three at the line. You see what the bench has been able to do in the second quarter to get things going for the Suns. They're now here in the fourth. And they've done a terrific job off the board. 43 bench points. And, and how about Alvin Gentry, the confidence to start this quarter all five guys against three of the Lakers key players including Kobe Bryant. Barbosa, yes! And now looking over to the far side, Steve Nash and Amari Stoudemire getting set to check back in with just under four and a half to play in this fourth quarter. Here's Gasol, he's stopped from behind, he thought he was fouled. He was trapped and the ball was knocked away. Suns have their biggest lead of the night. Dragic working against Fisher. Dragic on a spin. Oh, no. <laughs> Are you kidding me? That was with his right hand. <laughs> An 18 3 run by Phoenix. Again, they surround the ball. Fisher sets his feet, but he was on the line. Knocks it down. That's a two. But look how hard they're working to get a shot. And look at the guys who are getting the shots. I mean, Alvin Gentry will live with that all night. A tough contested two against the shot clock. The Barbosa checking with the bench. Nash and Stoudemire were called back. They were ready to check in. Barbosa lost to Bryant with the steal. Amundsen is back. Bryant with a nice move. Sets it up for our test. And we may see a timeout right here, yes. And uh, Alvin Gentry will make some changes. With 3.05 to play in the fourth. They're on their feet at U.S. Airways Center. Goran Rogic with the shot of the night. Suns 103, Lakers 94. We'll be back to the Valley of the Sun after this.
Hey, remember what we said. All we have to do is win the quarter, all right? Let's go. Just win the quarter. Let's go now. Hey, we got to rebound every ball, though. We rebound and stay aggressive, okay? Stay aggressive, let's, let's spread the floor. Well, Alvin Gentry has to be thrilled with his bench tonight. 54 points off the bench. But look at Kobe Bryant tonight. Got off to a very slow start, 0 for 1. It really came to life in the two middle quarters where he was 12 of 17. Only one shot attempt in the fourth quarter. Pal Gasol only won. So their two best players, 0 for 2. The Suns doing a nice job recognizing where they want their defensive intensity to go and making other guys try to beat them. Steve Nash will just check back in, running out on a three-point attempt. It's Steve Nash playing with four bench players. 103-94, Suns with the lead. A defensive three is called on Phoenix. And now Amari Stoudemire will, will check in. You look at uh, Kobe Bryant, you mentioned the numbers, 31 points coming in the second and third quarter. He's also hit six threes, which equals a playoff career high. During the regular season, his career high, 12 three-pointers in a game. He had six against Portland back in June of, of 2000. So Kobe is on the board here in the fourth quarter with that free throw. The lead is now eight, two and a half to go. Plenty of time remaining in this fourth quarter. Here's our test for three. And Gasol is able to put it down. Well, Amari Stoudemire just coming into the game. He's got to get on the boards. The Suns did a nice job forcing Hortense to take that shot. Here we are, a two-possession game. Nash and Amari have been sitting a long time. Let's see if they get back into the rhythm of the game. Nash. Stoudemire sweeps it, and he is fouled, so he will go to the line. What would you say, that Phoenix has played zone about, what, 80% yeah, of the time? Yeah, most of the night, and you see it here again, and, and see Amari Stoudemire has to be out there to try to play against maybe that swing of the pass to Fisher. Then he cannot get inside. I think he's got to be more concerned about Gasol and, and let Fisher shoot that three-point shot. So, Doug, why haven't the Lakers again been able to adjust to the zone. And that's a great question, Mark, because, I mean, the activity level of the Phoenix Suns has been terrific. And here's Amari Stoudemire going to the line, Mark. He's missed four free throws. The Suns have missed nine free throws tonight. If they lose this game, they can look to that free throw line. Dudley going out, Barbosa, and now the Phoenix Suns have all their starters back on the floor. During the season, the Suns, 77%, right around 10th, uh, 11th uh, in the lead. 104 97 as Stoudemire hits one of two. We're coming up on two minutes to play in the fourth. I tell you, if I'm the Suns, I'm going to make Odom or Artest make some perimeter shots to try to beat me. I've got to defend Kobe and Gasol. Here is Odom for three. Rebounded by nine. That's exactly what you want. If you're the Phoenix Suns, have Lamar Odom shooting that long jump shot, defensive rebound the ball. Putting the move on Gasol, and it's fouled. He got the whistle. He's just too quick. I tell you, I like what Alvin Gentry's done. He's got that little area right off the free throw line extended. About one dribble away from the basket, he's getting Amari Stoudemire there, the ball. We've seen him go baseline and use his quickness. Watch where he's catching the ball. He can get to the rim in one dribble from there. This time he chooses to go baseline. He takes a little extra bounce and gets the foul. We've seen him many instances. Marv go to the middle and get there with that right hand. So once again, attacking here at the end of this game and more importantly, getting to the free throw line. Stoudemire now five of nine at the line. And that's on both. 106-97, Phoenix with the lead. Bryant picked up by Nash, off the fake, and the foul. Discipline, you've got to stay down. Steve Nash is not going to block Kobe Bryant's shot. Watch this shot fake. Look at that shot fake, and Nash knows when he's in the air that he has just committed a huge mistake. And Kobe Bryant's one of these guys, when he gets you in the air, He's not thinking two free throws. He's thinking three-point play. But not able to complete the three-point play. 
Bryant with the foul. Kobe upset. He thought Richardson lost his balance, but there was contact. Lakers have been over the limit. The three on Bryant. Richardson will head to the line with a minute and 28 to play. The Suns up by seven. Now, normally the Suns are a very good free throw shooting team. Let's see if they can put this game away at the foul line.